What's happening everyone and welcome to Ottawa. Yes, we are finally back in the capital of Canada. I'm super excited to be home and I'm super excited to be here because I haven't been here in almost a year now. But this video is all dedicated for you guys because I want to show you what you can capture if you come and visit this incredible place. And of course, the first stop is Parliament Hill. So let's get around, I got my camera, let's go shoot. As I was photographing the space, you're probably wondering what's going through my mind. Well, the first thing I think about is keeping this distance away from the subject. That way I'm able to capture it in its entirety. And that has a lot to do with your focal length as well. The second thing is really creating a depth of field. And that's achievable by using objects around you to distort your lens or block it in some sense. The last thing I'm thinking about is really accentuating certain features of the building itself. And that has a lot to do with light and the way it reflects and bounces on the building. And right now it's sunset, so you're starting to see a lot of the texture really be more accentuated. Alright guys, we're at location number two. This is Nippian Point. This is one of my favorite spots to come to in Ottawa because it overlooks the entire valley. And you got Ottawa River right here, Alexandra Bridge, which leads into Quebec, which is incredible for sunset shots. Behind me, you got Parliament Hill. And you can really see the vastness of it. And on my right hand side, you got the National Gallery of Canada. So all around me, I'm surrounded with content that I can capture. And that's why I really like being stationed here. So I'm gonna look around and capture some photos and I'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, so one of the key factors to shooting anything is thinking about the time of the day and specifically in this location, I think about sunset or sunrise. Because we're above a lot of the area around us and there's a body of water, sunset time really brings in and highlights a lot of that nice atmosphere around you. It brings in that warmth, it brings in that texture and the color that you want to see and the bridge allows you to also see that because you get nice rays, you get nice contrast between the darker shadowy areas and the warmer light and it also allows you to feel a lot more of the beauty that's around you and I think that's very important too is just being in an area when you're seeing sunset and really taking it in. Good morning everyone, it's a brand new day here in Ottawa and I'm super excited because we're at location three of the top spots that you have to visit and photograph. And what better place to go to than the Museum of Nature? Currently they have an exhibit all about the moon. I'm super excited to check it out. Got my camera ready. Let's go on in and take a look. Alright guys, this is probably one of my favorite exhibits I've seen here at the Museum of Nature. It's all dedicated to the moon. So this is the moon at the museum exhibit that's being featured. This thing right behind me was actually space imagery from NASA that was provided. It's 120 dpi. It's of the lunar surface of the moon, which is incredible. It has so much detail. You can really see every single, you know, hole that's ever hit or any crater that's ever hit the moon, which is awesome. Now, one thing I'm thinking about when I'm here in the space is how am I gonna capture photos with no people? And I think that's always a difficulty when you're visiting galleries or exhibits or anything really iconic. The best thing to work with is time. Is give it time until you see a space, a moment where you can take a picture and there's not that much people or distractions or just nicely go up to someone and ask them, hey, can you move out of the way? Another thing is just change your perspective. Don't try to capture the same image that anyone else would. Maybe move around, change your angles. And you could do that with having the right lens. So right now I have a 24-70 on, so I'm able to zoom in if I want to and really crop in on a, on a subject, but I'm also able to keep a distance and get the full image. All 
All right, guys, we're at location number four out of the top 10 places to photograph in Ottawa. We're at the Aviation and Space Museum. We're gonna jump into a helicopter and hover over the city. The plan is to capture as much content as possible and see the city in a completely different angle. This is a great opportunity to capture photos of Parliament, the Ottawa River, and of course, a beautiful sunset. That was absolutely incredible. Nothing beats a sunset helicopter ride over the city. Now, the thing is, whenever I'm in a helicopter, I'm always thinking to myself, how can I take some really cool pictures and really try to stand out in experience? What I try to do is try to, I, first of all, I always dangle my feet. I think it's just super fun being able to do that. You get some look down shots and you zoom in onto specific buildings because you don't get to see them in that perspective every single day. And of course, work with the light. The sun is in a certain angle and it's facing towards the city. So I tried to work with the angles of that and also nature and following the Ottawa River. So get out there, get on a helicopter if you can. When you're visiting the city, I'm telling you, you're gonna really enjoy it and you're gonna come out with some really awesome pictures. All right guys, we're at location number five. This is Tavern on the Falls. A brand new idea that the city of Ottawa is working with is popping up locations where patios can exist and people can enjoy beverages and good food. There's also another location called Tavern on the Hill, which overlooks Parliament Hill, but this one right now is overlooking the waterfalls. I'm really excited to check it out. The sun is starting to dip, so I'm sure we're gonna get really cool shots. Let's go in and have a look. Now what's really interesting about Tavern on the Falls is that it's adjacent to the Ottawa River and right now the sun is dipping so you're getting this beautiful landscape shot and also on the side of it there's Rideau Falls so if you ever bring someone with you it's perfect for taking portraits and if you wait long enough the lights in the patio will turn on and will create this beautiful ambience which is always perfect for portraiture. So you guys have already received my first five top places for you to check out when you're visiting Ottawa. Other things I highly recommend are the museums here. There's two museums specifically that I really appreciate, the Museum of History and the National Gallery. These two museums are architecturally beautiful. They're incredible in terms of the art that they exhibit. There's something there for everyone to appreciate, whether or not you're into the arts or you're just a tourist who's kind of meandering through a city. The other thing I highly recommend is the Byward Market. That's a place where you find local produce and you see where a lot of the food actually, the restaurants locally are sourcing from. And that's what's beautiful about Ottawa is that it has a really nice agricultural culture and something that they really appreciate is the culinary experience. The last suggestion is getting on some rooftops and seeing some of the best hotels in town. The Andes Hotel has a beautiful rooftop patio that overlooks the entire city. And Chateau Laurier has a beautiful architectural design and history to it that makes anyone really go wild when they see and experience it. There's so many other things that you could do, renting a car and driving around and just experiencing Ottawa and how beautifully it channels through the, the Ottawa River and around the downtown areas and everything else. And definitely utilizing the Ottawa River is another big plus. We got on jet skis, we got on the water. It's an awesome experience. You get the best footage and you get to experience something that is so thrilling. So I hope you guys visit Ottawa. I'm gonna leave information for you guys in the bio below. And as always, remember to like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you guys all next week. Peace.